Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenerolf here. The quest today is cast 20 white or red spells, and while I have a historic white deck, I'm going to try out some red, some mono red. This is my, I call it red quest for standard, it's just there to do red quest. It's like a nerfed ver- Oh, oh, okay, interesting. So I have a challenge going out to a friend of mine. He actually invited me, and then I wasn't on yet, so... <laughs> Uh, so then I sent him one. Ooh, I'm sorry, Chris. I'll I'll shoot you one in just a bit. He may be in the middle of a game. Uh, so this is one that I use just for complete. It's like a nerf version of Cavalcade. It is a Cavalcade deck, but it the creature selection you'll note will be definitely suboptimal. Um, but you know, it's okay. It's what I have, and it's a very easy deck to just incidentally pick up. If you already have the Cavalcades, then you're pretty much but you can find enough red one drops to get there. A lot of them are commons. You end up fruit delicious. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Give him the hello. All right. So start out with. Dodger for the quick damage, I guess. Banneret. Well, there we go. Ooh, Fervent Champion. Neat. Play both of you. And sadly, a soldier, not a knight. Bang, bang. There we go. This is, this is it. <laughs> this is what the deck does. And even in its nerf version, it wins fairly often. Hi, Kunaros. Okay. That's not great, but we can live with that. Make a bunch of dudes. Hiya. And then because we have we actually have the mana, we can cast shock three times next turn to the Chandra. So yeah, I'd say that we're we're not in too bad a shape. Now that is a supposing well, we'll see what Druid here does. Yep, there we go. Questing based. Ah! Oh no! Sorry, Chandra. Uh oh well. Four to me, four to Chandra. That's pretty good. Scorch Spitter. Uh, it's more important, even though this doesn't have lifelink, it's more important, much more important, that we take out you, buddy, than to take out our good friend, Paradise Druid. Then I'll just play this out. The next turn we'll have the ability to make this unblockable. We'll have Banneret to give itself plus two, plus zero. Oh to give a uh, mentor, give a token, give it, not a token, a counter to somebody. And they have five cards in hand, and we are hell-bent. So, uh, we better close this out quickly. That's not good. What is this? You control it, okay. 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 Well, that's good, at least. We have Cavalcade going on. I guess I'll activate this just to just in case. Yay! Lots of things. We're not particularly close, unfortunately. I mean, we are. We if if they don't deal with our creatures, we win next turn. But I I have a sneaky suspicion that they will. But they're in mono green, so maybe not. Uh, because. We're gonna be, well, yeah, we're gonna be able to deal the two from Cavalcade right there. Ah, uh, there's two life. Okay. So they're gonna, they're at a virtual four. One, two, three. Oh! What was that? Mmm, now we're dead. Now we lose. Okay. W with the mentor token there, we would have been okay. Okay. Yeah, now we're in trouble. We were so close, folks. We were so close. Torch Courier. Two? Alright, who are you gonna block? Ah. I mean, actually, no. I, I'm dumb. I'm dumb.
Minter has to be done. It's it's an attack trigger, so I messed up. That's it. I just I just messed up. Uh, they should be dead next turn if I no they shouldn't because there's great. Yeah, they they weren't dead regardless. Ah, oh. it's not something I can do once I'm already in combat. That's that's on me. That's my bad. All right. I could still win. It's still possible. It's no, now it's not because they have lethal. Now it's not. They have lethal. <laughs> I'll let them get their quest done. But at least I'm pretty far through mine. All right. Well, good game. That's what happens. You you run your resources out fairly quickly. And there you go. There's that. That's uh, that'll do it, I guess. Let's make sure Chris is still on. Uh, he is. Okay. I'll try it again. Challenge. I challenge you. See if Chris is in the middle of the game. Maybe. Maybe not. So we'll wait a sec. Only a sec because I'm out of coffee again. There's a drop. Wait, wait, wait. There's a drop. And it's some sort of like chocolate flavored coffee. Um, I always drink mine black, so when I come across one that's chocolate flavored like that, I really dig it. Oop! Always drink it black because I have to keep this figure. I mean, <laughs> I mean, look at this. <laughs> all right, all right. I have a sneaking suspicion that's maybe I caught him at a bad time again. He's on, but maybe in the middle of a game, so that's a bit of a bummer. All right, we'll try it. We'll try it again. We'll try it again later. Oh, that was quick. That was real quick. Hi, Clark. I'm gonna keep this Karn avatar for forever. Uh, sure. This is good. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. Um. So we'll start off with... Oh, hello, what am I doing? Champion. Bang. There we go. Actually, if I had done Banneret, then Cavalcade, then Champion, I could use uh, I could use Banneret's plus to give Mentor to it. But it's a little weird with Cavalcade out, unfortunately. Banneret is one of the creatures you'd have at most as a one of in an actual Cavalcade list. If that. Now, probably should have gone Lava Coil there, just in case they have Witches of it. I want to make sure to get rid of this familiar once and for all. So that might have been a misplay. Alright, do they have it? Robber! Okay. Now, Robber, it's only when they... How does this work? During any turn you attacked with a rogue, you may cast that card... Oh, if they have more cards in hand than you. Okay, well... Hmm. We can actually play both. One, two... Skewer you. And then... Exile you, so we don't get any witches up in shenanigans. That wouldn't be fun. We are getting late on in the game, so that's not great. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, I don't have quite the mana to go Chandra and Shock yet. Or not Shock, Lava Coil, I mean. So, things I can do here, I can attack to get 4 damage in, well, not really 4 because they'll block, but I could do that. Um, I could put a loyalty counter on her, because, <coughs> yeah, what I'm worried about is not being able to flashback Lava Coil. That's what I'm most worried about here. We're just only going to attack with these two. And this will be alright. 
Unless they have some more shenanigans, I think that Chandra will live. She'll live this. Uh, swing two at Chandra, block both. It dies, deals two to Chandra, plus the one from Scorpion, leaves her at one. And then I won't be able to flashback Lava Coil. Yet. So, I think that that's the, that's the game plan here. There's Oven. Okay. The way this is worded, it deals two to each opponent. Alright. Come at me, bro. Kakate Koi, come at me, bro. Play your Planeswalker. So, I want to keep her. Unfortunately, I have to do this because if it gets any higher, I lose her. Alright. Um, let's find out. What are they going to do? They have some... Well, obviously they have Witch's Oven. There we go. And then... Boom, boom. Alright. Now, what's weird to me is that they didn't use it... They didn't attack with a Scorpion. Ooh! Okay. Well, that's three to me. Now, they don't quite have the mana yet. They're missing that one extra red. High Spitter. I mean, might as well play it, right? Uh... Yeah, so now Lava Coil doesn't make any sense. They could just sack it anyway. So let's just get our damage in while we can. So this will be three at them. There we go. Alright. Top decks of glory would be nice. Top decks of glory. Alright, what actually would get me out of this? Uh, Spitfire, maybe. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright. Uh, no blocks. That's not enough to take her out anyway. I'm telling the Abbots. Nice. I like that. Alright. So let's see. Hey, these little guys are great. We're able to deal four here just from the elementals, but they're all going to be cavalcade. The elementals themselves aren't getting through in all likelihood. They could let Whisper Squad go. Uh, I'm incentivized to attack with everything anyway because Priest of Forgotten Gods can get rid of one of my, um, can get rid of whatever creature, Scorch Spitter, I leave behind. So definitely you two. And then, but then how do I get out? If I don't make them sack the spit, well, actually they can just do two Whisper Squads and sack those. Yeah. Yeah, we're in a bit of trouble. We're in a pickle. Theoretically, this is lethal. It's not actually, because they can block. This isn't actually lethal. But they do have to block with something, and that's Priest on one of them. Alright, there we go. See, this is what I mean. Theoretically, it's lethal. But, but, you know, there we go. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so they're giving up Whisper Squad. I like that a lot. Alright. Oh, yep, yeah, fair enough. Alright, so now Chandra's dead, and I just need a... I need to rip a shock off the top, or any creature with haste, and I win. I don't even have, just any creature, and that'll do it. Alright, here we go. Come on. Come on. One of the weaknesses of this budget version of the deck, oh, nope, never mind, of the deck is that we, we are running creatures without haste. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh oh, uh oh, Rubro Raggy. Oh boy, Rubro. All right, those are exiled. I have a land, so 
So I can play both of these, and oh, you're about to get Menace. Okay. Fire this off before giving them some information, I guess. You. Could do it on the Scorpion, because when it dies, it deals two, but they're going to be able to sack it regardless. Alright, there we go. There's a food token. Shaman's not lethal, but this is going to make Witch's Oven actually... Now, if they don't pop the food now, it's going to it's gonna hurt them. And there we go. Okay. That is one weakness to doing it in that order. I was trying to make it where they had less information about what to play around. Oh no. Oh no. Whale. Whale. So what, attack with scorpion and butcher and then sack them with priest? Or sack, yeah. There, we're just doing it now. Okay. So I lose my creature. Fair enough. And two life. So it is going to hurt them a little bit. Alright. Not much. Not enough to matter. But I guess it's something. They... F oh, they have Croxa mana. Oh, and you don't even have haste, buddy. You don't even have haste. Alright. Well... I'm, uh, I'm not t quite dead. Grim Initiate can... So they play Croxa, I take three, go to one, Priest attacks, Grim blocks, dies, I mass one, I have a one one, and then... If I top deck a creature with haste, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, so actually I can't win now. Never mind, we're, <laughs> we're done. I can do the math. We'll play it out, because I'm still on the red quest, but yeah, we're done. That's that's going to be GG's. Alright. There we go. Whale. And there we go. Dies a mass one. Is there anything that gets me out of this spot? I'm pretty sure the answer is no. The way I built the deck. Yeah, even you. You are entirely too late, buddy. You are just way too late. But we'll play it out. Good game. And call it. Immolation Shaman is definitely not one of the cards that you want to have in the final version of this list. Absolutely not. Yes, it hurts a little bit, but it doesn't have haste, and it's two mana. Alright, but we got the quest over with, at least. I'll, I'll keep playing it. I'll keep playing it a little bit more. We can do it. We can do it, folks. We can do it. I believe in the me that believes in me. Oh, boy. Try again. We can get there. It's been doing better for me. But as you can see, the, the deck runs out of gas quickly. You uh, pedal to the metal at the beginning, and then you just hope you get there. That banneret loves me. I swear, I don't even think it's a four of in the deck. It just loves me. Ooh, hi. Ooh, the mirror. Let's go. Alright, now we play initiate first. Force them to use up that mana if they want to swing through. And then we can shock next turn, if we need to. Alright, swinging on... Oh, castle. That's something that should be in the deck, too. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I know where that shock is going. Or I guess I could do lava coil, but I'd, I'd rather develop my board a bit. here, before they have a chance to get it any bigger. Uh, still not gonna attack. Not yet. I'm the, they're the beatdown. I'm the control deck here, I think. I mean, I'm the one with the removal heavy hand, I, I strongly suspect. Deutschland. Uh, cool. Looks like a, a funky new flag in that view. I guess I'm here, Freud. Alright, so swinging on through. Not using their mana uh, efficiently, let's say. But it's okay. I don't know what else is in their hand. 
Oh, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense then. So I found a land, and then what is this? Robber. Okay. Robber. So it's not a cavalcade deck, right? Because robber's not in. All right. So. Dodger. Duck Dodgers in the 24th and a half century. All right, shock. Shock it. You know you want to. Okay. Put it on you. All right. And then we hit for six. So we hit for a decent bit. All right. Now, the restriction on robber is more cards. If defending player has more cards in hand, which, yeah, I do, I do not. Hence, robber of the rich. Alright, Robin Hood, what you got? Why is this thing a mythic? I know it's supposed to be like Robin Hood, it's a human archer rope, but it's not even, it's not legendary, it's not, the art doesn't make it look super obvious that it's Robin Hood to me. I don't know. It works, I guess. Alright, well, prepare to lose your board. Kind of. I'm just going to deal with one of them. Alright. Because... I'm going to activate you. I'm not... Oh, there we go. Not particularly worried about castle. Alright, now it's out of shock range. We don't necessarily want to put them on the initiate because while it has first strike, it has something that ha that uh, triggers if it dies. All right, yeah, look at this hand. Look at this beautiful, beautiful hand. Even if we can't attack with bow, oh, there it goes. I guess it takes two. All right. As long as we keep them down on creatures, castle's not a big deal. That's a problem, but we can exile it. So, see, this thing cares about when it dies. So we're not too worried about that. Thank goodness. All right. Kind of want to skewer this thing here so it can't block Banneret. Ooh, that's fine, that's fine, it works. Okay, see what they have, because I sure don't. I'm done. I'm out. Now it makes sense to start piling them on the creature with first strike. Okay, well, so much for that. Yeah, that's a problem, folks. That's a problem. Play Spitfire, pass. Yeah, we have, we have run out of gas again. Champion, okay. First strike can trade, and then I'll still have a creature. First strike can do its trading. Oh no, wait a minute, you idiot! They had castle anyway, so that was a terrible idea. Well, no, it's fine. They'd, it'd still die, because castle's only plus one, plus oh. Alright, well that's a problem. And then, hit me again. Alright, we're not dead yet, but... We're not dead yet, but... Now we're dead. Uh, double strike and trample. Okay. Okay. Can we even live this? No. No, we can't. We're exactly dead. Exactly lethal. <sighs> yeah, good game. Good game. You got me. You got me. It's, it's close, but not quite enough to get there. I swear, this deck has done me better. I'm going to keep playing it a little bit more. Last time I played the mono black deck, when, uh, you know, and then when it, when the going got rough or when I felt like switching over, I switched to land destruction. Nope, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on this deck. This silly, silly deck. If you're wondering about Magic Carp on the Rocks, best name, take a screenshot of that. Yeesh. Okay, we'll keep. As long as we get there, and our opponent's going first, so we get an extra shot at that third land. But yeesh. 
and they're just gonna do it now. Alright. Hello! Alright. So, Dodger first. Because we can actually sack Courier to give haste to another creature. Uh oh. Rubber Raggy. So, things I can do. Courier? Ooh, that was wrong. That was wrong. Because you know what I should have done? I should have just let it become unblockable, hit them for one, and then skewer it. But for some reason I forgot about that, so I was thinking attack with both and then skewer. That's not ideal. That's not good. Es no bueno. Es no bueno. Well, it's probably best not to double down on the mistake. Just make it look like we're developing our board, I guess. Yeah, they're not going to miss their land drop. They could, but they're not. See? Oh, it's three colors. Interesting. Please use Skewer now. I mean, please not Skewer. Please use your ability now. No, they can't. Okay. Oh, God. I guess it might have ended up working. Is this some weird, like, tricolor feather deck? What is, what is going on? What is this? Okay. So we have Lava Coil Skewer. Uh, we can't play both this turn, sadly. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Then hit them for one. Yeah, I, I goofed. It's okay. It kind of ended up working out because they had a second night, but that's... Yeah, you can't rely on that. I mean, three turns in and I've only dealt them three. This Spitfire can turn things around for sure, but I don't have Cavalcade. I don't have... Other than Skewer, I don't have a way to deal non-combat damage to them. But it could turn things around. Oh, oh, hi, Luris. Uh. Well, I know what I'm skewering next turn. Probably the lifeline creature. No blocks. Okay. On to my turn. Uh. Hmm. I can play the Fervent Champion, but I can't attack with it anyway. Activate. Ooh, what about? Ooh, 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 there we go. There we go. All right. Make sure I'm not missing something. And then skewer it. Boom. That's a. Still missing coffee. It hasn't magically spawned in my cup. Unfortunately. Somebody have to get onto that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Repro Raggy. Okay. Better late than never, but s still. Alright, on to my turn. Cool. Light. Ah. Uh, so I guess I, I play Chandra here, don't I? There's not really a point in attacking because I can block with both of these and I won't get any damage through. So I could go... Chandra plus, I guess? That'd be interesting. I could use light. Alright. Activate there. Uh, 
This way I can try to hit more land drops. There we go. It's only a two of in the list because I only have two. Okay. We can start doing some stuff. This thing has lifelink though. I can block one one of the uh, one ones with Fervent Champion. Shouts to First Strike. Uh oh crap. Oh crap. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, now swinging through. Oh, it does have haste, doesn't it? Oh no, it doesn't have haste, it, it mutated, that's right. Hmm. Okay. Can do both here to stop the lifelink, but I think it's more important, probably, to deal with you. Hmm. Yeah, we just lose, don't we? Oh! Hmm. That's probably not right. This only lasts till end of turn, so it probably wasn't correct for me to do that. Although the counter's a problem. So I can go Legion War Boss, Skewer, after it connects. I could also have used Chandra there to try to draw fire, but I'm at such a low life total, I don't know that that makes that much of a difference. Alright. So I guess they can attack with one of them, hold up the mana. It's been nice coming across these decks where I wish I had land destruction. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright. Whale. That's a problem. Too late. It's too late. Already completed the quest. Yeah, I, I can use Lava Coil there. Um, but I don't, I don't survive past that. My goodness, I've not been having a good show with it. <laughs> That's just the nature of the deck, I guess. It's been, it had, I swear, it had been doing really well for me. I swear. But, alas. Alas. Hippity, hippie Jesus. Hippity. <laughs> hippie Jesus. Whatever that means. Banneret, why? Why? Stop. Okay, I guess. I guess it works. At least I have a one drop. I, I'm not gonna dedicate wild cards to getting better ones there. I'm just I'm just not. It's fine. I'll live. Alright, and then just hit for three. There we go. Cool. Uh, war boss. Cool. Swing for two. All right. So only the new token has to attack each turn. It can be a problem when lifelink hits the board, but otherwise, it's not usually a big deal. It's not usually an issue. <clears throat> Really wishing I had land destruction right about now. That would be superb. That would be spectacular. Alright. So, I guess swing with the two tokens lava coil skewer. Alright. Because they can only block one. Alright, cool. Cool. And then 
lava coil skewer. And yeah, we, we want to get this thing out. Because I think that they have ways of getting it back from the yard, if I'm not mistaken. And we're going to wait on that. That's fine. We can wait on that skewer. We need it to activate Chandra's Spitfire anyway, to trigger it. Okay, come on, we can do this. We can do this, folks. Okay. That's not good, but... No, that's just, that's not good. Thankfully, they all come in tapped, so... We don't have to worry about, unless they have basics, we don't have to worry about next turn uh, Colossus. More rams would not be ideal, though. At all. Okay. Well, let's get in our damage while we can, I guess. Alright. So this is going to hit for a bunch. And we should just win. Oh, oh. Uh... You. Hello. Alright, so we should have lethal just from attacking next turn. We should. Okay, we don't anymore. I mean, we still win in all likelihood. There's no, like, Kaya's Wrath coming. Guild Summit. Okay. We win. Good game. Good game? I think? Am I missing? Oh. Oh. No, we still win. We still win. This is fine. Hiya. Alright. Let's give it to you. Oh. What? Is it... Oh, that doesn't have a... Okay? Nani? Oh, okay, interesting. This one should be able to go on the... No, because it's the same. It's the same power and toughness. That's right. Alright. I'm a genius, I'm, I swear. Alright, one day... There we go. Cool. Woo! Mentor. It's not that hard of a mechanic. I, I know what it does, but... <laughs> okay. Okay. Finally. 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 We got there. I'm still going to keep playing. We can get a little bit more. We can, we can prove it a bit more than that. Legion War boss is funny. It's silly. Okay. Come sweet death. Oh! Okay. Okay. Come sweet death. So, uh... If you're familiar with the show Evangelion, Neon Genesis Evangelion, the uh, the third movie, well, yeah, end of Evangelion, uh, featured a song called Kom Suseto, which is Come Sweet Death in German, and I, it's constantly in my recommendeds because I listen to that all the stinking time. It just sounds pretty. It's a pretty song. Now I'm going to have that stuck in my head, just from just from that name. Okay, no, no, we're done, we're done. Stop, stop. Okay, uh... Develop the board first. Then I can go Cavalcade Light next turn. Alright, so this is the same gate deck? Yep, yep. Yep, that's what we're doing. Okay. Well, fair enough, I suppose. And then just hit them for yes. It's a very technical magic term, hit them for yes. And then first strike. And then the others. And then... See what we get? Uh, okay, fair enough. I can live with that. This is... Again, one of the cards I would not normally include. This is not what you normally find in a cavalcade deck. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Seems good. Okay. So 
hit him for three. And we're just about to the mana where we can actually use Immolation Shaman's ability. Okay. Ah, <sighs> fair enough. They did that main phase, didn't they? Yeah, they had to, because Claren was played. So yeah, they had another land drop. That life gain is a little bit annoying, to be honest. Little bit. Okay. So we won't use... It makes more sense to play the champion here, right? Or does it? There's my, uh, Michael from Vsauce. Or does it? See, I could get an extra three here and protect myself a little bit from the shenanigans of another Clarion. You can also use this to just save it from Clarion itself. Or does it make more sense to just go and attack here? That's too many cards in hand for me to not... Hmm... Yeah, we're just gonna attack here. Deal six. And then, pass the turn, give myself that cushion from Clarion. Okay. Okay. This is a gate that makes mana of any color. Stop! <laughs> you stop that right now. Jeez, they should be at one. Uh. Okay. That's a problem. Spitfire's not, though. Alright. Hit them for yes. Now I don't know that I have a choice. I kind of have to play it out. I just hope that they don't have it. Which, of course, they will. 420. <laughs> 420. Ah. Uh. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yep. So close. So close. So close. We're not out of it, but we're pretty close to out. Hey. I'm always a step ahead. Yes, you are. Always. Oh, there was more boss. That would have been super nice to have. We're still going to be at 420 for forever, aren't we? Wait! Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a matter of ah! You stop. You stop that right now. Alright. Well, uh... uh. <laughs> In my defense, they had three game three effects on lands that they played. In my defense. Do that again. Let's do that again. This game is fun. <laughs> ah! Ah! Hello, darkness, my old friend. Cassius, I've played you before. Okay. I have played you before. And I'm on a different deck, so I hope you come to expect land destruction and play completely differently. Uh, well, actually, never mind, doesn't matter, because I'm going first. Well, it might. There's, there is a mountain. Alright, firing it off now, because why not? They know I have a shot. Well, no, they know I'm on a different deck, because I, I had a companion last time. Alright, moving right along. Play Cavalcade, and in case it weren't clear, I'm on something a little bit little bit different now. Alright, so playing a growth spiral deck, I think. Yep, okay. Okay. Spitfire. I'm just gonna go for as pretty close to lethal next turn. That's the that's the game plan. Ten Street Dodger, two instances of Cavalcade, Shock. 
this is going to be a pretty big Spitfire. All right. No, we don't quite have it. Almost, but not quite. Okay. So, yeah, and this, I have to do it quickly. This is the uh, Mutate deck. They just throw everything onto it. Okay, so Dodger for sure. Can make it unblockable. Shock. Play Spitter. And the way it's worded, it's dealt uh, non-combat damage. So, one, oh, let's see, one, two, three, and then that's two instances right there, so that's seven. Put them to ten. If I shock their face, that's that puts them to five. I think that's a bit unnecessary. And then Spitter, and then next turn I'll have Lava Coil Shock. So we're okay. We're okay. So let's see what all I can throw onto this thing. Cavalcade is a slightly dumb card. Okay, that has Reach, so there's our Lava Coil, excuse me, Lava Coil target. In all likelihood. Uprising does nothing right now. Pass my turn. All right, good game. Right, so there's that. All right, there we go. Your go. Uh, there we go. Did I even give them the hello first? That that's rude of me. Oh well. All right. Kind of want to keep playing. But I've been at this for, uh, I haven't even reached the hour mark yet. Let's go. Let's keep going. Let's show this thing off a little bit more. A little bit. All right, come on. Juice, bussy. Sh sure. Okay. Ooh, that's fine. Only one creature, but that's fine. Don't forget, don't forget. I will get a coffee break soon though. Talking for a while will get you. All right. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There it is. Okay. I didn't have a chance to coil at first. But, but we can do this. Okay. okay. At least Shock can go upstairs. So this will deal one, and I can take out one of the familiars if they block with both. Even if they block with both, though, I'll still have a creature afterwards. So it's fine. Block with both. Do it. Do it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> yes, that is the order I would like. Alright. If they don't sack... If they do sack one of them, though, I'm fine. Okay. Fair enough. And then first strike, so I get to keep my creature anyway. That works. Interesting way to do it, though. Okay. Instead of blocking with one, sacking it, and then bringing it back, they'd have, and they'd have two cats now? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Maybe they changed their mind. Oh, I'm certainly no stranger to that. Okay, well, we have a Lava Coil target now. Even if it won't kill it, we, we have to do this. Endo Friendo. Oh, Jay, no, no, no. Oh, I should have shocked it. So that I could use Lava Coil here. Ah, I could use Lava Coil to get rid of the kitty. It wouldn't be that big a deal because they still have one, but I should have nonetheless. Alright, so until they get a food token, which they will soon, they won't be able to get a cat back. Okay, they have a food token. They can get a cat back. Genius. Genius. Ooh, uh-oh. 
Yeah, I, I feel like I may have misplayed a little bit here. Just a little bit. Um, no blocks. May need that to save Chandra here in a second. Okay. Or we could play a war boss out, I guess. That'd be interesting. War boss for one, it'll block with the block with devil. Hmm. Yeah. Let's try that before Chandra. They're doing it now. Uh, fair enough, I guess. Look at all that value. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy! Right. Obvious block is obvious. Hmm. Ah. Scorpion. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. To be honest, I kind of would like to just concede here, but not yet. We'll wait. They can actually kill War Boss here by sacking both of them, and then. Ooh. Chandra first. Doing it now. Okay. One to war boss. That's interesting that they're doing it now. Yep. Okay. Not to brag, but I'm totally the best pyromancy student. Hit him for f not actually four. Okay. Food tokens are fine. One food token and two mana gives you three life. Oh, oh wait, we're dead here. Yeah, we're dead here. They got me. They got me. That was okay. That was actually kind of sick. That deck is not easy to play. It doesn't just play itself like mine does. <laughs> there's there's probably no deck in the form in the game that's completely mindless. Um, and witches oven decks are definitely not. You can't be an idiot and play them optimally. Street Hey, that's my birth year. <laughs> Let me dox myself a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ooh. Hmm, I'm still keeping. Interesting. It's been ages since I actually can't remember the last time it gave me a hand with only one land in this in this client. Alright, there you are. Play up spitter. Alright, come on. Ah, nope, we didn't get there. I kind of want to do a salty concede here. Yeah, I'm not winning this. If I don't find another land, I'll just concede. It's it's okay. Alright. Hit me for two. Ah, good game. I think that they see what's going on. I think that they guessed what's going on. When you miss your land drop. Oh well, that's what happens. When you keep one landers, that's what happens. I figured I had, since I had two chances at it, I was decently likely. There are 21 lands in the deck, as I recall, so I was decently likely to find one, but alas. And this isn't ranked, this is low stakes. It's okay. It's alright. Daggered. I should... I'm gonna be like a L'Oreal <laughs> model <laughs> as much as I do this. Because you're worth it. <laughs> hello. wonder how many times I've gotten a hello from my opponent while the uh, make your decision screen is up. 
I haven't done anything. Alright, Grim Initiate first. Let's maximize our damage coming up. Alright, so this means that they're only going to have creatures of those types. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Alright, so one of the Spitfires. Use removal on the other. That's fair enough. Alright, play the one they know about. Hit for a bunch. Well, I say a bunch. It's hit for three. Boom. Good old first strike. Good old first strike. Tried and true. Alright. may call it after this, though, to be honest. Ah, there's the other one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now we're in trouble. Now, thankfully, that was just going to be a 4-3. It's not that big of a deal. Alright. Still going to hit them for a bit. And then damage. And then pass my turn. Because I didn't have, like, a cavalcade. I just had the shock. So Spitfire isn't as good in that case. Tutelage. Draw a card, discard a card. Whenever you draw a card, target opponent mills two. Oh, I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing. Alright. Race to the finish. I don't know that the shock is going to do as much good staying in our hand. I don't suspect, with the possible exception of the apprentice that's a 1-2, that there's going to be much of a reason to hang on to that. I guess two shocks could deal with, like, a secret keeper as a blocker. Now, what rare... This is uncommon, right? Yep, okay. So I can't play it in Popper to go along with my Jace's... Or, oh. Uh oh. I, I have a sneaking suspicion their clock's going to be a little bit faster than mine, maybe. If this keeps up, for sure. I better find something quickly. What is this? Grim Tutor. Yes, please, please play those. Alright. Yeah, on to my turn. Oh, stop drawing lands, dude. That's it, just stop drawing lands. There's the secret. Alright, well... They're not too terribly far from it, but... I, I may need something. Now we start getting into the... Now they have the mana to do some silly, silly stuff. Okay. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble, Barney Rubble. Alright, let's see. Right on time. Right on time. And pass. Coincidentally, most of the stuff in my deck is going to be odd. I mean, lots of one-drops, Spitfires of three-drop, Immolation Shaman, and that's about it for two-drops. That might actually be it. Oh, God. All right. One card in hand. Do you have it? All right. Let's make him do it, I guess. Let's make him go through blocks first. One attacker. Here we go. Here we go. I kind of wonder if there aren't actually any creatures, and this is just... <laughs> Alright. On to damage. Okay. Let's make him do it. Make him do it. What do you have? Do you realize that's not lethal yet? Ooh, okay. Counter target spell. Okay. In response... Oh, I shouldn't do this now. I shouldn't do this. It's done, it's done. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna regret that. Alright, how many more do I have left? 26, okay. Another extinction event would just... They only have one card in hand. <sighs> okay. Premature concession, but that's okay. All right, so that it's been an hour. Didn't have a great win rate today, but again, this is like a this is a suboptimal version of the deck. So I guess that that's fine. <laughs> I guess that's still fair enough.
All right, um, there you go. Take care, magic community. Still have 100 there. No, we're gonna we're gonna be efficient with our. We're gonna make sure we get all of the coins before they start shop, sharply dropping off. We're gonna we're gonna do one more win. I can do this. One more win. All right. And for this, if I if it looks like I'm out, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go out. I just want to get one win quickly. Duna 77. That looks familiar. It makes me think I might have seen you before. Okay. So play out this bitter first. The other two have haste. So fair enough. See what they have. They don't. You. Too early. You. Alright, so this is four. Alright. Spitfire is effectively a 4 3. It's pretty okay. Alright, what do they have? Ooh, rats. Alright. Uh, we can play the, the Spitfire instead of attacking, but I don't want to give this thing a turn. Not even a single turn. So we're just going to do this now. Hit him for four. Alright, here we go. Alright, what you got? What you got? Tempting wit. Oh, it's a 1 3 again. Oh, and it's a food token. Uh oh. Alright. We can still swing through for one. I think it might be more important for us to get the banneret out first. No attacks yet? Yet. Won't be long. Ooh, okay. Another food token. Alright, hey! <laughs> Why be lucky? Well, why be good when you can be lucky, I guess? Uh, ways we can do this. We can just use this to slip by. That's probably the thing to do right now. Right, just you. Just you, bud. So I'm going to hit them for two. And I'll have a virtual lethal next turn. Not really because of the food tokens, and of course they have a blocker. But with Banneret's ability, I can do 10 next turn. Alright. What on earth? Okay. Well, that's, that's gonna be fun. Alright. Another Dodger. No, this doesn't have lifelink, it just deals damage to the opponent. Okay. Alright, using it on you. Using it on you. Just these two. That's all. Alright. They can't attack. Not really. And... We should be okay next turn. Even without their ability to slip on by, we should be... Uh-oh. This one actually gains life. Enters the battlefield. Okay. And they have uh, mana for a food token. Alright. Seven. They're at a virtual ten. Can I deal ten? Not through attack... Not through those I can't. Alright. Let's see what I get. Hmm. Ooh, don't, yeah, don't you attack with that. That, that won't go well. Believe me, believe me. You're not winning with that attack. Yeah, you, you're in kind of a tough spot. You're in, not kind of, you are in a very tough spot here. I don't envy your position. Just these two for now. And we'll go for lethal for next turn. What on earth was that downstairs? Alright. Here we go. 
Okay. Extinction event, just to just to destroy me. Actually, no, that would destroy them too. Although I think that they would be okay with it now. Another tempting witch. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. Well, that's virtual ten again. That looks familiar. They're just gonna do it now. Just <laughs> letting me know, I guess. All right. Now what are you gonna do? You don't actually have to attack. You can keep doing what you're doing now. All right. What's this? Satyr's cunning. This is effectively two extra creatures. If I don't. It could, it could just be one extra creature if I go for the four damage here, which I should. So, let's do some math real quick. Maths. Twelve effect... Okay, so... Uh, one, two from Cavalcade on the Dodgers. Uh, three, four from the Scorch Spitter ability. Five, six from Scorch... Uh, from Cavalcade on the Spitters. So, six there. Plus, I have... Six attackers. That's twelve. But they can block four. So, we're not there yet. We're getting there, we're not there yet. Satyr's Cunning. We could do it again, but we're just gonna swing through with the Dodgers. Alright. Here goes. Alright. I'm giving them entirely too much time. But this delicate little dance we're doing, they play a creature, they have a food token, they eat the food token. It's not getting any better for them as it goes on. I Satyr's Cunning was actually intentional. It wasn't just a, oops, look at the... Oh, uh-oh. All right, well, they're at 10 again with an extra blocker. Okay, that's a problem. See, I told you this was getting silly. Okay. Well, this lets me play Satyr's Cunning and swing through with both of them. But I need to hurry. They don't have any more food tokens. Alternatively, I could just swing out, but once again, let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, right? Am I seeing that correctly? 1, 2 from their, from themselves. Wait a minute, yeah, I, I miscounted. 1, 2 from the uh, actual damage from them. 3, 4 from the spitters. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 from Cavalcade. So yeah, they're dead. They're just dead, aren't they? If I swing out, they're dead. All right. Whee! <laughs> that's that's the stack. That's quite the stack. Are they letting them resolve one at a time? Because they do have an ability. They have uh, a yaya. Yeah, 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 ay, yeah, yeah. Dun dun da 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 dun dun. Nothing is lifelink out. Thank goodness. Okay. They counted, they got there. Woo! Yay! We got there. Alright, so cleared that. Now it's just a card, just a CAD. And Mastery XP. Alright, but that's it for now. Uh, take care, everybody. Part 2. I will see you all later in the next video. Bye-bye.